It was a roller coaster, wasn't it? Up and down all the time. Yeah, definitely. With all the false alarms, it was just kind of on edge. So finally it happened just in time for Christmas. Yes, December the 20th. An incredible present. The and best one. <laughs> the best one, of course. And what's it like having new lungs? It's strange, but amazing. Absolutely amazing. Words can't describe how it feels to be able to breathe. You're looking in remarkable <laughs> health. I know you've spent the day what, walking around London. Would you have been able to do that before? No, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it before without having the oxygen or a wheelchair or support from a million different people. So is it a case that you have to sort of pinch yourself? Because I know you said to Cathy Jones, our, our health editor, that you, that you um, never thought this kind of thing would happen. You couldn't remember what it felt to breathe like you're breathing now. Yeah, just being able to do things that people take for granted, like walk around and talk at the same time. It's just amazing. It's remarkable. And, and David, it's not just transplants. There's been a lot of steps in the right yeah. direction with cystic fibrosis. Very much. There? I mean, I've been a patron for some 20 years, and actually it's been extraordinary, the, the advances that we've made. And cystic fibrosis is really not a very sexy condition. Yeah, what is it? About. Well, it's the UK's most common life-threatening genetically uh, inherited disease. So essentially, you inherit uh, two copies of a faulty gene, one from mum, one from dad, um, and there are about two, two and a half million carriers of this faulty gene. And if two parents come together, you have a one in four chance of then getting the disease. And it basically causes all your secretions to become thick and sticky. So it stops all your major organs working. And particularly, like Catherine was saying, you know, it stops her lungs working, they become thick, and, and the, the mucus is all cloggy and so they need physiotherapy antibiotics and so on and the, they, they can't uh, digest food properly so you don't grow and develop as you should mm. and I think one of the biggest problems we've had over the years is no one really wants to talk about mucus um, you know and one of the things that we've been doing and uh, is pushing the message that actually we can make sure children and young people live a full life oh, with quite. cystic fibrosis. And, and I know you've both taken part in a new video that's been made with so the celebrities like James Corden, <laughs> giving us the sound of their breath for this video. Yeah. Don't adjust your sets because it starts, <laughs> it looks like the, something's wrong with your TV when it starts, but have a look at it now. And then it goes on with the life of this, well, it starts as a young girl called Sophie, then goes on yeah. to grow up with cystic fibrosis, gets married, has a child of her own. It's very inspiring and shows Catherine that actually the prognosis that used to be the case with CF 20 years ago is not the case now. No, not at all. How's it changed? Well, originally they'd say you wouldn't live to your teenage years, mm. and I've already proved that wrong, so... And there's people, because we have online chat groups and things, that live to their 50s, 60s and so on now. Yeah, I mean, I think that the sadness is I lost friends with cystic fibrosis and, uh, who were very, very young, and it's so fantastic now to see that actually we no longer talk about children with it, but adults with it, and they get married and, you know, have families, and, and that's incredibly inspiring. But we need money, and, you know, that's what this is all about, because unless we have money, we can't do the research, we can't fund all the treatments that people like Catherine need. So it, it's vital that we get them in. And Catherine, I know your lungs, you say, don't have CF. Obviously, the rest of you still does. So what does the future hold with it after, after your transplant? Well, as long as I keep myself healthy, it still may be the odd case of antibiotics, but take all the tablets regularly, exercise, I should be able to leave quite a normal life. Absolutely remarkable. We're so delighted you could be here and tell us what is just fantastic news. David, good to see you as well. Lovely to see you, you Thank you.